Well, it's time. Let's call everybody to the class. Who said the beginning? How are you? So far, so good, teacher. Today school. is other day like normal day at the work. Well, then, you know, you sometimes we reach an age when a normal day is a good day. Yeah, yeah. Because it means stability, you know. It means things are under control, right? Yeah, that's right, true. And so God, everything was under control. Thanks, God. Oh, thanks, God. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, especially when, like you, when you got a family, you know, you don't, you don't need 
bigger surprises on you on a daily basis, right? Yeah, that's right. Because we need to, we, need, we have people to whom take care of. Yeah, that's right. But so, but tell me, tell yeah. me, please elaborate. Tell me how was it today? Uh, when tell I me about finish, your routine. Well, I uh, wake up uh, like 7.30, I guess. And I start my shift at 8 a.m. So I have the time to take a shower and then make a cup of coffee. But then... Prepare, prepare a cup of coffee. Prepare a cup of, a, a cup of coffee. Then I began to 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 work. Okay. Mm. okay I, so began I, took, working. I, took my, I began working. I began working. Yeah. Uh, let me explain something to you. With some verbs, uh, with some verbs like uh, like begin, start, finish go if you place a verb right next to it that verb must be in ing form mm -hmm. like i began working i started working i finished working i finished working you see after then always we place a verb directly next to it in ing form that's the gerund it substitute oh. the two i began to work i began working Okay, mm -hmm. and the idea is the same. Okay. But in English, you sound better if you say, I began working, instead of saying, oh, I began to work, you see? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Please continue, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Uh, don't worry, teacher, thank you for letting me know that information is really important. And then, um, I took my break like two hours uh, after that I began to work. Okay. Then uh, at like 1 a.m. I took my lunch and I was looking for uh, Barcelona games to see the, the, the how oh, they God. lose. <laughs> That was and, bad. Yeah, the, the, I guess that the Bayern de Munich is one of the most uh, strong. Yeah, it's one of the most strongest teams right now. And, and, yeah, yeah, and that's right. They are very, very powerful. In Europe, and remember, yeah. and I mean, I don't defend, I don't defend the 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 acting of the other team, but remember, they got a new. A new, uh, 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 how do you call that? Hmm. Trainer? Yeah. They got a new trainer. And even though he's got a very good idea, um, and the team is looking different, pretty different, it takes time. Yeah. And the quality of the players also is a big influence, right? Yeah, that's right. Because, I mean, I just watched it for some time. I mean, I couldn't watch it completely. But uh, they need a forward. They need a forward. Yeah, yeah, they really need a forward. I mean, an, a natural and effective forward. Because they do everything but score. Yeah, that's right. Because they don't have any any forward that should go. Yeah. And I mean, that's necessary. That's mandatory. Yeah. But um, it takes time, team, you know. Projects take time. Yes, tell me. In the football team, I, I don't know why they uh, stay so. Uh, yeah. Suarez. Because oh. that is a really good one on the football uh, world right now. Yeah, he is, he is a good one. He but, is you know, good. 
uh, sometimes administrative decisions uh, they don't it's like they a company they are not effective. when they want to yes. fire you they fire you yeah but you know when you talk about look the with with teams with sports happens the same as with in my area and these are some areas that yes they are a business but they cannot all the time be seen and managed just mm -hmm. solely as a business uh -huh. because it doesn't work like that yeah that's right because i guess that they yeah, they have the I don't I don't know if we can use the earnings or we can use the um, the other word that is the earnings. revenue. Yeah, the earnings. You can say the earnings. Yeah. The case. earnings. Okay, the earnings is about the audience that came to watch the game on the stadium. So I guess that if they continue with a uh, bad uh, scores, the people don't like go to watch the games. Yeah, of course, of course. So well, they will have a lot of loose. Yeah, and I mean, it's very complex. It's pretty yeah. complex, I think, because as you say, it's a big business. It's a yeah. huge business. Yeah, that's and, a huge. I mean, and they have to keep both things together. Um, that's not easy. Yeah. The other match that was really good right uh, today was the game of uh, Chelsea, and I don't remember the other team name, but it was really good because they make a draw. Okay, yeah, they tied three, three to three, right? Yeah, three to three. But the last uh, goal that the other team that was score? playing with the Chelsea score was yeah. really good. For real? Yeah. Like the two goals that the Madrid scored yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, the both goals was really beautiful. Well, really beautiful. Mm. As yeah. I told you, I, I haven't had, believe it or not, supposedly I am in, on vacation. Yeah. But I haven't had the, like, uh, like the time to do that. Today I oh. was working as a, uh, I was working in something different here at home. Okay, you can, so, you have, you have had to watch those goals because we're really good yeah today i was i was doing some upholstery upholstery yep okay do you know what's that no i'm i'm really no i really don't know what is the meaning of that word that means tapiceria okay tapiceria Yep. Okay. Yeah, and you made nice. it. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, I needed to I needed to change the the, the seat for this chair. You know, my backbone was really hurting. <laughs> so I needed to change the, the seat and I had the sponge and I bought the, the letter and oh. I put the pieces, I got the glue. And I had the well. I had to improvise because I don't have a a, a, a heat pistol. Okay, you make a so little I, maintenance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, yesterday I was I was. Oh man, how do you say this? Well, let me get the word for you. Yesterday I was. Uh, Painting my, let's see, how do you call that? My windshield. Uh -huh. Do you know the word tint? Tint? 
Yeah, I was thinking my wind windshield. Uh -huh. Do you understand that? Yep. I was thinking my windshield. Well, not not the whole thing. I just needed a a, a little French like this because uh, because of the sun, you know. Uh huh. But I uh, I needed it to be darker, so I had uh, yesterday I passed by, I bought the material, and I did it myself. Oh really? Oh yeah, sure. That's easy. Wow. I learned it well, uh, many years ago. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Perfect. Yeah, you know, little things, little things. Okay, guys. Thank you very much, Jose Wilfredo. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, everybody. Well, if you notice, I started with Jose Wilfredo talking about the daily routine. And after we talked about the daily routine, we, we got specific on something that happened this day, today. That's exactly what you are going to do. And you will have five minutes complete of conversation with just one person, okay? I'll be passing by from group to group, checking out your conversation. But before we get into that, let me please get the attendance. If you are so very kind, Ambarelli Alparo Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Claudia Lizat Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present. Thank you, Daniel. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Thank you. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Thank you. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. A Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. En Shamira Elizabeth Asensio García. Thank you, Mr. Osorio. Okay, guys, just let me, let me, let me. Okay. Shanira, thank you very much. And welcome. Okie dokie, guys. Well, you remember I told you let's do the let's go to the breakout rooms and groups are created let's see let's jump in please
Oops, don't worry, just let me know when you finish, okay? Okay, okay, thank you, sir. No problem, no problem. Hey, teacher, good evening. Good evening. Hello, Nicolas. Hello, Sylvia. Hello. Hello, teacher. How, How are, are you? you? I'm just fine. Sylvia, nice talking to you. You've been scarce. Uh, I mean, what? You have made yourself pretty scarce lately for the conversation with me. Oh, really? <laughs> no, that's not true. <laughs> Do you understand that word? Do you know that word? Scare. Scarce. Mm. Scarce. Scarce. Uh, okay. Do you use it? Do you use it to say um, escaso? But uh -huh. in this case, I am using it like for the conversation. Se me hecho como escurridiza. Okay. Mm. <laughs> but mostly you use it for saying what mm, there's something a product for example like right now uh, you know nicolas is worried because the the water wells in some areas are pretty scarce mm. está preocupado porque los, los pozos de agua en algunos lugares are scarce son escasos right okay Okay, guys, the activity is this right now. You need to talk about the your daily routine, the greetings, the normal greetings, and your daily routines. You will have in your case just three more minutes and share as much information as you can. Okay. This is something okay. that we have done, but right now you're in a level that you can speak a little bit more. Okay, perfect. Tell me, tell me. Mm -hmm. and, and you do you Whoa. do? I have a, I, I had a beautiful day too, and I was, yeah, I was, as as always. <laughs> Ooh, that's the today, attitude. That's the attitude. Today I uh, re received uh, three chef that they are making some uh, uh, consult consultorias. How do you say consultoria? Mm, that's a little bit of a problem because in English okay, some, you don't use some the, things, the some, some things uh, and trying to help us in the restaurant uh, when some things uh, cons, problems you mean or consultancy right consultancy right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I was talking with them, and this this was oh, the last. I am meeting. so sorry to interrupt you, Erwin. Okay, <clears throat> we have three chefs who are available for consulting. That's the way we use it, 
Okay. Okay, Sorry. but they, they they are doing this consulting. And yeah, they, we, we have involved in the in this consulting in the last eight weeks. Interesting. Yeah. So okay. they, and what do they, you usually do with a uh, consult with a chef? Like techniques? Uh, well, well, we have a group. Uh, we, we are a group. Uh, the name of the group is Miran's Group or Group of Miran's. Um, okay. We have four businesses. Uh, one is uh, Boca Olas. The, the other, uh, this is a hotel and restaurant, but it's a, a, a little um, picky, classy. <laughs> uh, it's for, it's a special <laughs> kind of, of, of hotel. Um, after uh, we have another one, it's a, a little hotel with seven rooms and a, a big restaurant. This is Pargos. Where is it's, it located? Uh, in, in the same area in El Tunco, in front of the beach. From oh, beach. Hey. Yeah. Huh. Uh, it's on the other way, right? And well, it's in the same way. Uh, if you enter to the El Tunco, you 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 can find the La Pluma. How do you say yeah. the check yeah, yeah, control? Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, maybe a hundred meter after that, you can find a little octopus. Oh yeah, I know where the soccer maybe, field used to be. Yeah, two, two years ago, uh, it was a bar with uh, with a discotheque uh, called, um, let me see, let me remember the Yeah, but it's, uh, the, it's the, the name, the name was uh, Blue. Yeah, I remember uh, Blue. So now it's another concept uh, called Pargos. And after that, uh, uh, we are uh, Roca Sunsal, a little cafeteria like a deli, and in front of the, the, the Bocana is called Dale Dale Cafe, our four businesses. So we yeah. are the- I know, I know there's a cafeteria. Yeah. They serve, they serve a delicious espresso, you know? Yeah the best of the area <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, um, uh, this chef uh, were one in each business and okay. they provide a lot of uh, changes information that accessory. we need to accessory to in order to obtain a certification, an international certification, uh, something like um, ISO, but is uh, by the is national ISO. Is okay. uh, and I, I don't remember the name. Is um, OSN. Um, OSN. Yeah, is Organismo Salvadoreño de de Normalization. Uh, so it, this is the ISO in El Salvador. <laughs> so they they gave me all the results, and uh, I am really really proud that we may be in the first fifteen days of the new year. We were, we are going to obtain this certification. Yeah. Very proud. Very, yeah, very proud. Proud. Yeah. proud. yeah. See you in the main room, guys. My God, very good activity. I was checking out some very interesting information that you were sharing, guys. Let's see, where's, uh, oh, is there somebody still there? Oh yeah, there are some, we are going to wait a few seconds. Well, let's start. Jose Wilfredo, who did you talk to?
I talk with Janira. Okay, tell me about Janira. Okay, Janira told me, Janira said that uh, he had... She? She has, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. She has a, a really busy day today because uh, uh, she, yeah. re she received a lot of cases to review and uh, she has a uh, pending some cases that maybe will take uh, uh, until, mid until midnight to resolve. Okay, they will take up to midnight to get solved. Yeah. To get solved, okay? Interesting, thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's see, Roxana, tell me about Ambar's day. Hello, good evening. <clears throat> well, come on, Roxana, you're going back again with your trouble problems. Yeah, teacher, because uh, today I was uh, in a meeting. Mm. Yeah, and I was a talking a lot. <clears throat> yeah. That's Maybe tomorrow. Let's hope so. Yeah. Tell me a little bit, at least, please. Okay, uh, I was uh, talking with uh, Amber and she told me that she woke up early and started work at 7 a.m. and she was an uh, easy day. She and has an easy day. She has an easy day. And after working, uh, stay at home and watch Netflix. And in the evening, uh, she took a dinner with her mother. Okay. She had dinner with her mother. Perfect. Thank you very much. Ambar, tell me about Roxana's day. Well, uh, she told me about. Hi, I'm sorry. Her Good evening, day. Amber. Good evening, teacher. Uh, Roxana, she told me about her daily routine. She told me about her meeting in the job because was her closing of the month and she ta she have a really busy day and she hopes tomorrow will be more easy or more relaxed for her easier and easier she, sorry easier remember we don't say more easy we say ah. easier easier okay and finally she have dinner with her family okay perfect thank you very much amber appreciate it yeah. okay let's see let's see let's see erwin tell me about susanna's please Erwin, Erwin, hello. Well, I think he's having problems with the connection. Let's see who else is around. Amber, Roxana. Sylvia, tell me about Nicolas Day, please. Do. Okay, um, most of the time we were talking about me, but okay. he said that, <laughs> but he said that um, he usually travel. Okay. He usually travel to another apartment because he needs to check some uh, system in the other apartment. So he travels for work. Okay. That's what he said. <laughs> okay, now tell us about yourself then, please, Sylvia. About myself? Yeah. How was your routine? Ah. How was it today? Okay. What was your schedule this day? What else did you do? Okay, uh, my schedule was to today was from 8 a.m. and I finished at 6 p.m. Because I had to work some extra hours because we were already busy today. So they needed that I work more time. 
and I and I finished today at six. I arrived home and I cooked, and I just had dinner. And my I usually on Saturdays I am taking a computer um, course. I am learning Excel, a word, and Google tools, PowerPoint. And I on Saturdays I study from eight a.m. and I finish at twelve. After twelve, I have to come back home because I need to start working at one p.m. So I have to run because I have only uh, one you, hour. Are you not teaching anymore? Yes, I am teaching. But I do it like I finish, uh, for example, I finish my work in the hotel at 4 p.m. And from 4 to 6 p.m. I have to teach. But it's, uh, it's not a fixed schedule for the classes. But yeah, I'm doing it also. OK, perfect. Thank you. Appreciate it, Sylvia. Thank you. OK, let's see. Marta, where are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Who was your partner? Tell me. My partner was Jose. Okay. Tell me about Mr. Osorio. Jose Wilfredo or Jose Osorio? Jose Osorio. Okay. Tell me about him. Okay. Um, he taught me about your daily routine. My or his? His. Oh, Sorry. Okay. His talk. Um, he star are always here up around the 6 a.m. Okay. Then take a shower for 50 minutes. He dress. Um, he go to get my microbus. <laughs> microbus. Microbus uh, of the company. Okay, the company's uh, transportation. You can say the company's okay. transportation. Company transportation. Um, usually, uh, check in around the 7 a.m. He start your, his work. Yes. His work. Um, review attended. Okay. Uh, give mat material for personal suite uh, or sewing. No sé cómo se pronuncia, teacher. Postura. Sorry. Sewing. 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 Okay. Sewing. Uh, then uh, he check method uh, sewing. Uh, time task. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I will interrupt you just for a second, Marta, because I want to be pretty clear. Mr. Osorio, are we talking about sewing or stitching specifically? Yeah. Sewing methods. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, Marta. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Osorio. Marta, continue, please. Okay, uh, take time task and report capacity the, the personal. Uh, check out. Uh, you were about the, around the 4.50 p.m. Okay. Uh, Excellent. Mr. Osorio, tell me about Marta's. Mm, okay, teacher. Uh, uh, she told me that her daily routine is get, to get up at 7.30 a.m. And she takes a shower for 10 minutes and then she gets dressed and she prepares her breakfast and then uh, she starts working at 8 30 a.m and she said usually her first activity is is to check her email after that, uh, she checks checks the the platform and organize her schedule for the day, and then at twelve thirty is her lunch time. Okay, and lunch then, hour. Okay, her lunch hour, and then she continues her work at one thirty p.m. and she. 
she finally uh, she ends he, her work day at, at say 6 p.m perfect thank you very much mr Sorry. you're welcome let's see you. let's see let's see shania who did you work with hey teacher jose wilfredo was my partner okay tell me about it. well he she told me about her day, about, about his day. Okay. And she wake up uh, early and started work. I don't remember the hour. Oh, and don't. I'm sorry, Janita, ask him, please. Hey, Wilfredo, uh, what time do you start your job day? My shift will start at 8 a.m. A.m. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. He start at 8 a.m. And then he take a lunch. And before that, he told me that he bring a cup of coffee with her, with yeah. his wife, oh. with his wife. And then he take a dinner and finish his day. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Very well done, guys. Let's see, okay, let's see. You. Anna Claudia, who was your partner. Hi, teacher. My partner was William. Okay, tell me about William. Uh, he said that today was uh, working and implementing a process a new task that he was preparing for in the last two weeks. So today was the day to implement a new process and that will be forever. <laughs> it was a kind of different day and it was a kind of busy day for him. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is what he said. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh my gosh, you don't <laughs> believe him. You, are so oh, I, you know, cloudy. there was a sound issue in our conversation because when he was talking, there was a dog on his end. Uh, how do you say? Uh, ladrando o latiendo? Barking. Barking, okay. And when I was talking, my dog <laughs> was barking. barking on my side. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was a little complicated, so, but we could talk a little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, you should like, uh, you should smack the dog. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> Janita is going to kill me. She loves dogs. No, so I love to, but of course, it was teacher, so of funny. Course. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, you know, that, that happens, you know. Uh -huh. when you, whenever you so, have pets, that happens. It's exactly. Normal. So it was funny because when he was talking, I don't remember if it was his pet or a dog near to where he was. But in my case, yes, it's my pet. And okay. when I was talking, she was barking. That's normal, that's normal. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I still got time for one. Okay. Wilfredo, thank you very much, Ana Claudia. You're welcome. Hi, teacher. Wilfredo, who was your partner? Uh, my partner was Walter. Okay, perfect. Tell me about Walter's day. Oh, poor, poor Walter. He told me that he he felt he felt so tired because they they was very busy in his company, and they were. he told me that today. Excuse me. They were. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They were very busy, but uh, he told me that today. And he had uh, uh, some, uh, it, it was a lunch, but celebrating Christmas in his company. Oh my and gosh, yes. that's good. It, it was very good, he told me, told me that. Then he feel, he feels, um so happy because tomorrow uh, he will receive a chicken for 
for it is a gift oh, that the company nice. gives them. Yes. From the company. Um, from the company. Yes, from the company. And then yeah, the, the, he he will um he he thinks that tomorrow his day is going to be easier than today. Okay, well, that's good. It's always good to have a good attitude towards your job. Yes. Excellent. And, and he told Excellent. me he told me he told me too that he 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 felt a little a little sad because Firpo lost uh the the competition but oh, he feels really? so so happy because um um oh, platense so nah, nah, poor barça I'm, I, I'm i'm barça but now nah, you are in the barça. same situation as with fast my friend <laughs> yes yes <laughs> uh, Yes, but told me uh, Walter told me too that he feel feels he feels so happy because Platense is going to um, fighting for to be finally in a championship national championship oh, that's cool. because because his wife uh, it is her team. Oh, that's cool! That's cool. He supports yes. his wife. That's excellent. Thank you very much, Wilfred. <laughs> You did pretty well. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Do I still have time? No, oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I need to jump into the next activity. Sorry for the ones that didn't uh, talk to me that much. But uh, we will see. Next activities, you will have the chance. Welcome, everyone. Very good activity. I like it. And But let's go right now to the next activity. And we are going to do the conversation from the manual. You know, we are going to work in the manual in page number, let me share with you, page number 27. Okay, we have to read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Okay, the conversation goes like this. Okay, just let me get you the picture of the conversation. I always do it. Perfect, got it. I'll just cut it. Okay. And send it to you guys. Excellent. The conversation goes, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. I repeat. <laughs> Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either. But a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. I will repeat one more time. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either. But a brand that delivers what it promises 
makes customers buy it, regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Okie dokie, guys. Four minutes to practice. Jump in. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see who is around. TV they are selling shoes that can make your product like a fat. Peter? Father, how, how do you pronounce this word, teacher? Feather. 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 Okay, thank you. Feather. They are very popular at work. I could never get a pair of dogs. They are too expensive. I could either. But either. a brand either. that either. I could either. But a brand that delivers what is but this promise makes customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. Promises. They're... Promises. Yeah. Okay. Believers, what it promises. Promises, mm. okay. Uh, the marketing department sure is good because they get all these people do buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to this to see what all the fuss is about. Fuss, 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 fuss. Imagine that you are saying a letter between uh, fuss, 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 fuss. Okay. Hmm. Like an, an R O use false. No, like an E oh. and an O false, false, false. False. It's weird. False. False. Yeah. Yeah. Na e, you know. Huh. False. False. It's really weird. Yeah, it is. It That's is mean it's, uh, like a scandal or no? Yeah, as paviento. Yeah, scandal. Scandal. False. Okay, watch this TV ID. They are selling shoes that can make you float like feather. Ad, TV ad. TV ad, okay. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair, a pair of those. They are too expensive. I couldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promised, promise? Promises. Promises, 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 promises. Okay, I couldn't, I couldn't either, but 
a brand that delivers what it promises, makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. They make her in the farm sure is good. Marketing. Get marketing, yeah. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair a pair to yeah. see what all a pair to see what all the fuse. Foss. Say foss. Foss. Foss is is a bone. Foss. Foss yeah, the is problem a is this. That sound comes from here. Ese sonido lo hacemos. Ese sonido se hace exactamente acá. Sacando un poco de aire y como cortando la cara. Pause. Pause. It's like, oh, oh, oh. Imagínense que le están apretando el cuello. Oh. Like that. Pause. 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 Yeah. It's, oh man, yeah. to, to explain in you the phonics is weird. La primera vez haga esto, diga, oh. Le va a decir, ah, pero oh. apretes un poquito aquí. Oh, ese sonido. Pause. Pause. Like that. Perfect. You see? You see? <laughs> yeah, you can oh, start okay. with yourself it, doing this. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, let's go back to the main room. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. Okay, let's see, let's see. Who's gonna start? Who's gonna start? Uh, Erwin and Susanna. Erwin, you'll start. Okay, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I could never get a product of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that de delivers what it promised make, makes customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fools is about. Okay, perfect. Erwin, float, float. Float. Okay. And let me just a second. And let's see. And Susanna, pair, pair of those. Pair of those. Okay, perfect. And let's see, let's continue. Next one, Walter and Wilfredo. Walter, you'll start. Okay, 
and watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you flow and like a feather. They are very popular at board. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. Uh, I will either move around the deliveries. What is promised? And met customer buy it regardless of friend maybe they really and make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see that all the fuss is about. Okay, perfect. Now listen, Walter. Promises. 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 Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Now let's see. Ambar and Roxana. Ambar, my dear, please start. Give me one second, please. <laughs> Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you flow like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it, it promise, promises make customer buy. It regardless of price, maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is a good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair of a pair to see to see what all the fuse is about. Okay, perfect. Now let's see. Ambar. Feather. 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 And let's see. Okay. And Roxana. Foss, foss. Foss. Look at my mouth. Look how this gets up like this. Foss, you see? You get air in here and you are like strangling yourself. Foss, foss. Foss, foss. Perfect. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's see, next one. Mm -hmm. Uh, Nicholas and Sylvia. Nicholas, you start. Nicholas, I'm sorry, your microphone. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes. They can make you flat like a fitter. They are very popular at work. I would never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat it either, but a brand that delivers what I promise make customers buy. It regardless of price, maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair of a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Okay, perfect. Uh, feather, Nicolas. Feather. Feather. Perfect. Thank you. And Sylvia, fuss, fuss. What all the fuss is about. Perfect, guys. Let's see and let's continue. Mr. Osorio and Marta, Jose, you start. Okay, teacher. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you flow like a feather. They are very popular at work. I could never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, 
but a brand that delivers what its promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all the people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy, buy a pair to see what all thoughts is about. Perfect. Just perfect, guys. Thank you very much. Mr. Jose Wilfredo and Shanira, Jose, you start. Okay. Watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a pair of those. They are too expensive. I go either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customer buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing, the, the marketing department sure is cool because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Excellent. Anna Claudia and William. Anna Claudia, you'll start. Okay, teacher. Um, watch this TV ad. They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular at work. I will never get a fear of those. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they really make you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get of these people to buy their shoes. I think I will buy a pair to see what all the fuss is about. Excellent. Well done. Now, listen up, uh, Ana Claudia. Mm -hmm. Feather. 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 Yes. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thanks to you guys. Very, very well done. Now, let me please get the attendance a uh, second time. Let's see. Ambarilia Alfaro Gomez. Present. Thank you. Ana Claudia Gonzalez. Present, teacher. Claudia Lizeth Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. <coughs> Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present teacher. Thank you, Fernando. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. Thank you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Satilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you, Susana. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Thank you. Let's see. Fernando and Francisco, are you available for the activity? Yes, teacher. Francisco. Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. Let's do it. Fernando, you'll start, please. Hey, teacher. Watch this TV app. 
They are selling shoes that can make you float like a feather. They are very popular as well. I would never get a pair of shoes. They are too expensive. I wouldn't either, but a brand that delivers what it promises makes customers buy it regardless of price. Maybe they already made you faster. The marketing department sure is good because they get all these people to buy their shoes. I think it will buy a pair to see what all the, all the fuss is about. All the fuss, all the fuss. All the fuss. Thank Perfect. you, teacher. Excellent, guys. Well, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now I need to fulfill my promises with you guys. I told you the other day that I was going to continue presenting to you the, on the, 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 the how do you call it, the reported speech. Just let me check on something before. Whoopsie Daisy. Second, just a second. Okay, before I get to that, I'm sorry. I was checking my my my, my lesson plan. Okay, before we get to that we need to check on something. And that is, let's see. Okay, tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay, now we're fine. We get the calculative tomorrow. Because tomorrow we are going to check on some grammar, but from the manual, but not today. I will prepare another presentation for you for tomorrow. Let me share with you what I have prepared for you guys. It's this, a little short. Let me present it. Okay, whatever. Okay, do you remember that the other day I was telling you about this? Uh, I was telling you that we have direct speech, we have reported speech, we say in simple present, I like ice cream. She said that she liked ice cream. I was explaining to you that you changed the simple present for simple past. Therefore, this present continues, past continues, you see? Simple past can be changed into past perfect or simple past. I will get later into which is the difference, don't worry. Past continues, I was walking along the street, she said that she had been walking along the street. Past continues, Past perfect continuous. This I explained to you the other day. Now, next one. Present perfect tense. I haven't seen Julie. She said that she hadn't seen Julie. Past perfect. I had taken English lessons before. She said that she had taken English lessons before. Why do we have it marked with an asterisk? Because if you notice, this one doesn't change. And it is so because of the nature of the tense. The past perfect is usually used to express an action that happened before an, another action happened in the past. So we are talking already in past, okay? Will, oh, when we are like speaking in future and we want to report, something that somebody said regarding the future, you use will instead of will. Why? Because will expresses a future possibility, a present or future possibility. And remember that that's exactly what we express with will, okay? I'll see you later. She said that she will see me later. Will, as I told you, the ones with the asterisks, mean that they don't change. I will help, but she said that she will help, but can. 
I can speak perfect English. She said that she could. Remember, whenever we express a present possibility, we use a present ability or possibility, we use can. When we are talking about the past, we use could. So uh, some people say that could is the past of can, but that's a whole different story. But yes, you can use it like that here. She said that she could speak perfect English. And then cool doesn't change. I could swim when I was four. She said that she could swim when she was four. Should, I should call my mother. She said that she should call her mother. You see, they don't change. Might, I might be late. She said that she might be late. Must, I must study at the weekend. She said that she must study at the weekend or she said she had to study at the weekend. So if you see this one, doesn't change at all. So that's when we are talking about reported speech. Let me do something, guys. Let's see. Because, I'm sorry, just give me a second because I, if I don't do it now, Sometimes I forget. Remember, uh, sometimes we keep busy all along the day. Okay, let's do something here and here. Just a second. I'm sorry, guys. There you go. I just sent you the PPT, okay? So you can check it out. Uh, actually, next week, I will send you the same, but a little bit bigger because I will keep adding some explanation. We haven't finished with reported speech. Now, guys. Let's, if you have your manual open, close it for a second. We are going to get into speaking practice. Do you remember like last week, we were speaking a lot. Okay, we are going to get right into that today. Today we have time for speaking practice. Tomorrow, not that much, and Friday, not that much either. But today I made sure to make some time so we could enjoy a little bit of speaking. And I have some very, very interesting questions for you to check on the, on the speaking. Okay. I have two questions that are quite interesting. Okay, they're very interesting. Okay, due to population growth and environmental problems, should families have fewer kids? And then, what is the ideal number of children to have? Now, this is, these two questions are very interesting. We are going to discuss a little bit to share our personal opinions. Remember, it's just an exercise. Don't take it too personal, okay? So let's do the exercise. You will have five exact minutes. Let me start my, my watch. Okay, you got five minutes, please jump in and let's do it.
due to pop popular due to population grow and environment problems should families have fewer kids uh, well in my opinion i think that uh, we need to um, population control about uh, oh. conceptive education and something like that, because if you are uh, observative, observ si tú eres observativo, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Contraceptive. If you are contraceptive. Con no, 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 contraceptive. Con I was thinking of the word that you use, contraceptive. Pero, ¿cómo sería? O sea, porque well, lo que quería decir es... Si tú, si usted es observativo. Observant. If you are observant. But uh, what do you mean? Ah, ah, voy a cambiarlo. No se preocupe. Eh, where if you are um, talking about a um, popular or common person, I think that we are a common person. But if you are, uh, if you visit, um, uh, I don't know, uh, Lugares rurales, rural places. Rural areas. Rural areas, maybe uh, you can see a lot of kids on, on it because uh, I think the rest of the person maybe can get a uh, best education about uh, anti uh, and about contraceptive. Mm -hmm. And maybe I think that if it will be important because uh, now we have a lot of person in the world and we need uh, to more uh, knowledge, more um, education, more health, more, more about that. And we can do more about that because we have a lot of kids and a lot of adults. And we need a more, I think we need more education about that. And in my opinion, uh, the, the, the families maybe uh, could have, uh, I don't know, two or one or two kids, no more. What do you think? In my case, I think the, the life is very expensive to the people who have a lot of kids. I think it's important to improve the education about the use of the contraceptives. Um, contraceptive. Con, of course, okay. yes. In the other, uh, in the other problems. Other problems. Okay. I think the problem is not the people. I think the problem is the culture and the education that we, that we show to our children. Uh, maybe every family uh, would have only one or two children. That would be a better idea because we can have our children in better conditions. And with the education, we will be we would be able to pay the education, uh, university, and we can uh, and we can help them to be uh, more professional. And about the the problems of the world like contamination like um i don't know how do you say but when the there are two people in the world population grow population world um yeah there are other solutions so maybe children's or the people is not the problem if the we have more opportunities and if, if we would have more 
uh, education would be better. So that's not a problem. I think the problem comes from other from other ways. That's my opinion. Okay. Okay. Uh, and I you? Think, what, what do you think? Well, I I think uh, well the families uh, actually the families no have no have more of three children. More than three. Yeah, that's right. No more. No more. And or two children in, 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 inclusive in, inclusive. How do you say inclusive? Mm. Or even. Or even. In this case, you say even. Or even a uh, uh, one children. Mm, uh, uh, for example, the the in, in the in this country, the the level of population is very is 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 more big it's for bigger. is bigger in central america is is very bigger in central america yeah that's right oh janira janira said she wants five kids <laughs> yeah right teacher yeah, she wants five kids, at least, to start the basketball team, you know, <laughs> or the volleyball team. I have four pet teacher. They are my child. Uh, you know, you know, you know. Hmm. What about you, Jose? How many kids do you have? I don't know, teacher, maybe two or three, but... Uh, as I was, as I was told her, as I was told telling her, uh, I was telling it. Okay, telling I was telling her, as I was telling her uh, that it depends of your economy because if you don't have the the enough resources to support your child, the so means the means to support. The means. Yeah, the means, los medios, means, M-E-A-N-S. Okay, if you don't have the means to support your child, I guess that you are making a population because the population is, I guess that is when you um, over overpass the, your, your economy, I guess, I don't know. If you oh. use the resources from the from the government, yeah, you know, it's just that uh, population. Uh, this is a tricky topic because I mean, some people are like uh, some people are like very strict about it, and they demand like uh, serious uh, decisions about mm -hmm. it, and well. Even some of your classmates are talking about uh, controlling, mm -hmm. controlling the, the, the population. And yes, it it could be done. I mean, China was used was doing it until a few years ago, controlling the the population. And in a way, it works. In another way, it doesn't. Uh, as with most of social problems my opinion or my personal opinion it has to do a lot with education you know yeah that's right education that's what because I, I think that if it, if we in education held like or so this situation and if we as educators would have been like allowed 20 30 years ago to 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 start educating people to make uh, more informed decisions when it's related to having kids, perhaps the situation could be a little bit different. Because yeah. like, and remember also your social, uh, 
your social level also defines a lot your situation related to, to, to your families. Because I mean, in your case, you say two, three kids, tops. And in my case, for me, it was one. My sister, my two sisters, just one also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we're just like that. And some families are like, no, none. Like, uh, with all due respect, like Janina, she says, none. That's it. She's got her pets and she's happy. Of course. And that's, of course. And that's okay. That's okay. But I mean, if more people would have taken not rash decision, nor drastic, but more informed and more educated decisions, and an educated decision is the one that you take when you have enough information related to the topic in order to take the decision. Mm -hmm. I mean, the situation in the whole world will be different. But as I tell you, it's related to education and it's not just about that. Even contraceptive education, it needs to be reinforced a lot. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That is what I told to, to Yanira that maybe uh, you need education to make a good plan about you, what going, what's going on with your family. Because if you don't have the, the means uh, to support your child, so you will aim the, the children to, to, to experience a bad uh, situation. So I guess that you never want that your child's experience a bad situation. So that's my opinion, that's what I say, but I guess that the, the first one is the education, then is the economy. Okay. But yeah. Yes, I think I think that the education is the first or, or the principal topic here because if you have a, a, a good level to education, you're thinking better and yeah. you make a plan mm -hmm. and you think, my economy, my economy is good, my economy is bad, or I have a good jeans. Um, because good this is jeans. another, yeah, yeah, it's an issue, <laughs> because, yeah, 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 teacher. Because if you have a, a bad jeans, if you have a history, a, health, a bad history, healthy, you thinking about that because your child heritage that well yeah in the case of some men as long as they are their kids i'm <laughs> kidding i'm kidding i'm kidding <laughs> yeah as long as they are there okay let's go back to the main room i will change questions now <laughs> okay Okay, let's see, everybody's here. Not everybody. Who's still in the limbo? Well, guys, it's been a very, very interesting exercise and I could, I had the opportunity to, to 
to see and to check some lively discussions. That's great. That's actually great. Now, guys, and uh, now I will switch questions. We are going to change completely the topic, okay? And we are going to get to know each other better. With the same person, you will have two very interesting questions. We are going to switch into food, okay? The first question is this, what is your best receipt? And then what is the worst thing you've eaten? Okay, so guys, again, let's go back to the groups. I'll let you know how much time and when the time is coming to an end, okay? Let's go, let's do it. Recipe, recipe, recipe. Hi, teacher. You ready? Yes, sorry. I just okay. try at home in okay. this morning. <laughs> Let me get you to a group. Okay. There you go. Thank you, teacher. Thanks to you. Okay, okay, okay. What is your what is your favorite? Uh, let me get that word. I hate this word. Recipe. Recipe. Oh, I was in the same with William. Recipe. Recipe or recipe? Recipe. Recipe. Okay. I'm sorry. It's just that you know there's two words that for me in English are like a problem. One is uh, cucumber, and the other one is recipe. I hate that, those ah. words. I don't know why. My tongue gets like stuck with it. <laughs> My goodness. So, Maria Alejandra, do you know Ana Claudia? Maria Alejandra's favorite recipe is uh, those, those French potatoes you buy at the supermarket that they are like frozen. Mm -hmm. She loves them, right? Really? Yes. Yes, really? it's a good idea. Mm. I'm happy to this give, or I don't know, that the same to give. <laughs> she, I don't know how does she do, but she eats a lot of frozen food. Really? <laughs> he eats a lot of. <laughs> Come on. She loves the, the microwave, his friend, her best friend. Ah, yeah. but it's because she's working, maybe she hasn't enough time to cook or I guess I once you told me right Maria Alejandra she yes. doesn't do nothing at all <laughs> <laughs> yes teacher I work a lot of but I try to eat with easy food easy food <laughs> and it's delicious it's like a recipe, uh, re recipe, remember guys. A, a real recipe, yeah. Recipe, I hate that word. I always mispronounce it. How do you say something uh, descompuesto, arruinado? Rotten. Rotten. Yeah. Uh, the tofu is like a broken, it's a way are. Uh, feel in your mouth. Yes, tofu. Yeah. Hey, that it's very weird. Mm -hmm. Hey, that. I don't like it too. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know. Have you ever tried tofu, teacher? Yeah, sure. 
Where? I had a friend. I had a friend who who who, who prepared that. Let's see. It's weird. She was uh, uh, Jewish. Uh huh. Yeah, and she and, and he preferred that. She. It was oh, she. she. Oh yeah. wow. Yes, it's a she. A she. A she. She preferred that, and uh, not my thing. <laughs> well, you know, I had another friend who was uh, from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. They eat uh, also weird stuff. Now uh, I can't imagine. They are so weird. Well, actually, you know, it's mostly a cultural thing because I'm sure that some of the stuff we eat here must be disgusting for them. Mm. For example, you teacher discuss pupusas, tamales. I don't know. All the Salvador, Salvador, uh, uh, Salvadorian cuisine? Well, you know, but I have it in armadillo and raccoon, snake. Have you ever eaten raccoon? No, I haven't. No. I have it's good. Too. It's good. How is it nice? How is Mm, it's tasty, closer to the taste like uh, to the the robo. Uh -huh. It's nice. I never eat them. The only bad thing is that when you got them like peeled and if you roast them, they look like little doggos. You know, <laughs> <laughs> they do. Mm. I have eaten many, many stuff. And I mean, like, uh, you you can eat, like, uh, ants. Mm -hmm. They are tasty. <laughs> really, teacher? We are yeah. here in no. another country. Uh, yeah, you can eat them here. Let's see where... Uh, India. No, 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 no. I mean, I, I <laughs> you can eat them in... Some areas from Panama and some parts of Colombia, like fried, deep fried. Really? Yeah, like enrollado. Mm -hmm. Interesting. But what you eat are some mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Yeah, yeah. That's protein, my friend. It's good. That's it's like. Uh, oh, I it? hear that is is protein. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Deep fried, also good. Yeah, I uh, I already have tried chapulines. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. But the little ones or the big ones? No, the little ones. The little ones, the big ones, yeah. are, man, they are scary. <laughs> Where do you try that? Let's see. Guatemala? Yeah, between Guatemala and Mexico. Oh, really? Yeah. Also, tuna. Uh, tuna is wood. No, pal. Tuna. Yeah. You just boil it and sudado. It's good. Mm -hmm. That I that I ate it here. I had a friend and she was Mexican. Mm -hmm. And she cooked that for me once. Good. Good. Yeah, it's good having many friends, you know. Many yeah, I guess that cook. you have a lot of friends around the world. <laughs> For yeah, your, the teacher has yeah. ha money. He travels around the world. <laughs> just, in, just in my dreams, Janina. Yeah, just in my mm. dreams. Uh -huh. Yeah, right, yeah. teacher. I know, I know Chalate and I know uh, ah. San Miguel. Mm. I'm gone. Good friend. When we talk with the teacher all the time, he knows everything about all country. <laughs> I love reading. He travels. That's right. uh -huh. I love reading. I love reading. But you can, but you can taste in in the book, teacher. 
No, 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 really. <laughs> I'm going bye, 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 bye. And maybe a flor de isote. I hate it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I hate it. This is the I one. Case, I never one of my tried favorite dishes. <laughs> Why? Very it's good. one of my favorites. It's bitter. I love bitter stuff. No, Pacaya. And I, I was selling that... What about Pacaya? Do you like Pacaya? Yeah, I can eat Pacaya. We were talking about Pacaya. You can eat Pacaya and you cannot eat for this. No, oh, I hate. No. Because uh, the pacaya, wait, <laughs> what? <laughs> With your teacher. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I think that uh, it depends because if I eat an um, curtido, how do you say curtido? Oh, pickle. Pickle. Maybe I can eat pacaya too and flor de sote. But if you prepare uh, with uh, egg or oh, tomato yeah. oh. I, no mm. I don't like it oh my god no. my mouth do is you like, watering do you like loroco cake with eggs with loroco with quesillo oh yes yes mm. yes yes you know my 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 loroco my is no my mother-in-law prepares a, 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 a an egg a egg cake with a uh, with Rocos and some stuff, man, delicious. And here in my house, my wife prepares an omelette with Rocos and stuff, man, that's cool. I can eat, but food. it's not my top. What's your favorite recipe? Tacos, you know, <laughs> oh, whatever I taquitos. Mean, yeah, but I mean, something normal, something regular. I don't know, maybe a uh, roast beef and something in grill. Grillo. Grillo. You know, my favorite is gr stuffed green peppers. Man, I love that. Stuffed green peppers. Chile rellenos. Oh, yeah, yeah. Delicious. <laughs> I like yeah. it. Yeah, right, Francisco? It's delicious. Yeah. How about delicious. you, Ambar? Do you like them? Yes, I like them. Uh, green peppers, right? With cheese. Yeah. yeah. And meat. With beef. From beef. Salt. Man, yes. They are delicious. But I prefer without eggs. And you know what's the funny thing? In my house, they don't cook them. Uh -huh. I try some green peppers on the restaurant. Its name is Langostinos. Really? Yes. It's very, very delicious. Because I it's a... It because, because usually, I mean, uh, I usually have eaten them just homemade, you know? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. But in restaurants, it's not something that you find, you usually find. But it's yeah, really I issues. prefer looking for another. Green pepper is like a jalapenos. No, 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 no. Chile verde. El chile no, dulce. Yeah. No, no, no. Ah, pues lo que yo probé son unos jalapeños rellenos. Oh, toreados. Eso. Toreados. <laughs> sí, chile yeah. toreado. That's uh -huh. good. That's good. I like that. Uh, you wouldn't believe how much. Uh, 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 How's it Bravo in English? Teacher, what? but in the Chile Storiado, uh, I think preparing in a grill. Yeah, you grill them. They, 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 have, they have peppers, you grill them. Man, you know, here in my house, we eat, well, my son and me, we eat a lot of, a lot of hot peppers. Yeah, I mean, sometimes we have a, uh, what you call that? But, you know, there's a big variety of hot peppers because, I mean, like, jalapeno is sweet. Jalapeno is sweet, pretty sweet. Okay. 
Wow. The last time I was uh, in sushi, sushi king, I guess. And so I, this is a Japanese uh, food. And I was eating um, sushi. Yeah. And oh. I bought a uh, their, extra... their hot sauce. Is... Yeah, no, 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 no. I tried. I, I taste, no, como sería? I taste, yo probé, I yeah. taste. I taste a spicy roll. They have um, pepper, eh, ay, cero, chili, ay, tenía, se lo voy a decir en español, porque no sé, no me acuerdo. Tenía un chile, eh, ay, se me ha ido el nombre, pero es un chile chiquito, verde, que tiene un montón de semillas por dentro. Y yo no me acordaba. Según yo, solo encima lo tenía. Pero cuando me lo comí, tenía jalapeño, tenía ese chile por dentro, y encima tenía salsa picante y hojuelas de chile, como las de la Pizza Hut. Oh, oh that's sweet. No. This day I was... Um, stomach, stomach, stomach? No. You had a stomachache. Stomach, yeah, and yeah, I, I imagine. couldn't sleep. I drank milk at 2 a.m. maybe because the paint, it was very hot, very hard. Yeah, I can imagine. But remember, whenever you get like a hot burn of because of the, of the hot pepper, uh, mm -hmm. the very first thing you could do is drink a beer. Mm, I didn't you don't need to drink it. You don't need to drink it. You just need to have it in your mouth. Seriously? But the problem is in my stomach, teacher. Oh, yeah. But for that, you need to take medicines. Yeah, I drank milk. It was or my aloe. Medicine. Aloe helps a lot. Okay. Okay. It's I bad. love uh, spicy food. Me too. Love it. Okay. It was very interesting. We got very excited talking about food. Let's see, Nicolas, what's your favorite recipe? Tell me. I remember you told me once, but I don't remember. What was it? What is your best recipe? Is uh, chicken with champignons. How do you oh. say champignons? Mushrooms. Um, yes, mushrooms. Yes, I prepared. I I I was prepared a chicken with mushrooms. Is, oh really? Is one of of other recipes. Recipe, recipe, recipe. Thank you. Okay. Now remember, mushroom. When you say mushroom, you refer to hongos in general, even though champignon is a given name. Champignon is a given name. Es un nombre propio. So you don't, uh, you don't need to change it. In that case, you can say champignon. Okay, champignon. Yes. Oh, yeah, oh, it's okay. delicious. Of course. With, I, like, with, I like beef. With cream. Yeah, I chicken. Like it. Chicken with, with champignons cream. Yes. Yeah, I like it. I, I like beef with with mushrooms, you know, it's good. Yes, uh, of course. Uh, recently, with my with my sons, prepared beef in carbon, al carbon, uh, or asal. Roast, roast, roast. Yeah, but you say you say it like this: cold, cold, roast. A uh, cold roasted beef, okay. cold roasted. Perfect. Thank you very much, Nicholas. Thank you, teacher. Let's see. Uh, um, where's Erwin? Let's see, Erwin. His area is related to Erwin. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? 
Yes, I can. Okay. Tell me, what is your best recipe? Um, well, in one of those days, I was trying a, a different kind of fish. Uh, the people here call them ilamas. See, ilama, because we have a river ilama too. Uh, yeah, yeah. This is a variety of fish, really, really delicious. And um, I was trying a, a recipe uh, with a kind of mushroom uh, from El Salvador uh, called Tenquiques. In the west area of the country, you can find Tenquiques. So it's a wonderful recipe. It's my own recipe too. Okay, interesting. Oh, the llama. Yeah, in Spain, in, in, in Spain it's called like uh, rapé. Rapé. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah, because the, the... It's really, really expensive in, 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 in the other side of the charco. And yeah. very appreciated too. Oh yeah, I know which fish you're talking about, the black one. Yeah, very and, dark. And dark and ugly too. Yeah, it's it's ugly. That thing is ugly as yeah. Yeah, I remember which one you're talking about. Yes. Yeah, and I was asking you because. I mean, first, I the first thing that I came to my mind when you say llama is uh, is one thing that is almost like a nona. Um, and the fruit. And well, now no, 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 it's a little bit bigger, very smelly. I try to remember the other day they they gave me is one of those things. It's the same family. It's, yeah, it's the same family. They are families, yeah. Sincuya. Sin yeah, that one. That's an ilama. That's an ilama. And rape is also a, 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 a well, rape was a form of sniffing tobacco, you know? That was rape. Uh, people used to, uh, in the 18th, 19th century, people used to sniff tobacco and they used to grind it to make it dust and they used to sniff it like, and that was rapé. Well, let's continue, let's continue. I, I mean, I doubt and I don't have to. Let's see, Ana Claudia, tell me, what is the worst thing you've ever eaten? I haven't. <laughs> I haven't. Uh, I like all the food. So, uh, okay, what is your best time? recipe then? <laughs> Believe it or not, I love beans. <laughs> oh, I love beans. Salvadorian food. <laughs> okay. That's Traditional Salvadorian food. Mm -hmm. Traditional Salvadorian food. Yes. yes. Okay. I'm not going to be your guest. I'm okay. Kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I know. I know you. It's not your favorite, but yes. In my case, yes. I know all okay. the Salvadorian. Let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. yes. Ambar, my yes, yes. Who's that? Um, the, 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 me. Uh, this morning I was talking with a, a chef, and he makes a difference between traditional and typical food. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, traditional food is related to religion, maybe as pe uh, relleno de pescado in uh -huh, Semana Santa in the yeah. Holy Week. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, frijoles are typical food. Mm -hmm. uh, frijoles, uh, pupusas. Uh, not pupusas. Um, oh. Not really, because they aren't from El Salvador directly. They, they may be. It's a substitute of gorditas in Mexico or dobladitas in Nicaragua, Dura. Honduras, something like that. But uh, frijoles, uh, beans, corn, uh, 
um, Ayote, mm -hmm. and um, a ver, one more. Uh, are four ah, chilies, chilies are from directly from El Salvador and they are mm -hmm. typical food. And all the other ones are Tradition. tra traditional food. Yeah. Oh, it's really know. interesting. Yeah. yeah. Very interesting. Thanks for clarifying, for us, Erwin. Interesting. Just that be careful. Don't say don't say that aloud out on the street. You know, saying that pupusas are not yeah. <laughs> typical is going to get you in trouble. Uh, there is a, 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 a rare exchange uh, history about pupusas, but uh, if you um, Oh well, gorditas are nice. I like I like gorditas, but I like the 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 the, the, the spicy, the hot ones. Okay. Yeah, okay. Have you ever taste uh, sopes in Mexico? Oh yeah, sure. We have an, our own version of sopes are uh, enchiladas. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sure. Yeah. So pupusas have a a, a, a Mexican a version. Yeah. Story? Because uh, if you uh, make an investigation, uh, the first time that the in Spanish the the term of pupusas were used is in Guatemala. After that, in Honduras, and the third in, in the third place uh, in El Salvador, and maybe in 1970s or 60s, the last 60s, I oh. think. Uh -huh. You know, Erwin, you just broke my heart. <laughs> you love pupusa, right? <laughs> yeah, you just broke my heart. I do love pupusas. Okay. Hey, guys, it was a very, very interesting and nice class. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Espero la gente disfrutado tanto como yo, because believe it or not, today I really have fun going from group to group. I'm so sorry if I couldn't get into all the groups because i mean some of the discussions got quite interesting but guys you're doing pretty well as as far as i am according to my notes uh, let me see i need to do something i'm sorry okay i'm sorry to, to to interrupt just like that but it's something that i always like to have clear with everybody Let's, uh, let me get the final attendance, guys. Amber Eli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Claudia Lisset Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Thank you, Daniel. Okay, so something wrong. Uh, Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. Lucero Abigail Godínez López. Eh, María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Chanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Uh, See you tomorrow. Be early, please. Bye bye. Have a good night. Good night. See Thank you. you teacher. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Bye. Good night.
Erwin. Hello, Erwin. Can you hear me? Okay, let's see. Well, guys, it was a big, big pleasure to be here with you tonight, but I guess it's time for me to leave you for a couple of minutes, because we will see each other tomorrow. Let's have a very good class tonight. Very good experience. See you later. Well, see you tomorrow. Bye.